Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's uh, jump in. Let's learn what we need to learn so we can get into some races. I don't know yet whether controllers are going to be uh, allowed to be connected to this game, but it would be fantastic if they were. Um, equally, I'm not entirely sure if there are AI races. I don't know if it's only online racing, whether there's like an AI career mode type thing as well. All right, here we go. Tutorial 7, Foiling, Tax and Jibes. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to tack and jibe the JX50 whilst foiling. Auto foil, auto sail, everything is auto. Okay. Wind is set to an optimal 14 knots. Press the sail button to begin. As we saw in the previous tutorial, the auto foil assists make foiling quite easy by taking full control of the system. Performing tax and jibes with the auto foils enabled should be equally straightforward. The JX50 is fitted with dagger balls that can be raised or lowered in the water. In previous lessons, you have learned to wait for the board to drop before entering into a tackle jibe. The reason will become much more evident by learning how to foil, tackle, jibe if you don't want to end up on your ass. In order to reduce unnecessary drag, we only keep one dagger board in the water while sailing straight, but when we go through a turn, we'll be foiling with both boards down until we are settled to the new course. We will start this tutorial just like the last lesson. Turn the boat right to TWA 90. Accelerate to take our speed and reach 30. Four dots. Let's go, guys. Let's get her up. And up we go. I love that sound. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five knots. Now turn upwind. TWA forty-five degrees left. And let the speed drop and settle between twenty-six and twenty-nine knots. Wait for your instructions to begin the tack. Go over it. Get hold off. Tack now. Press swap helm to initiate the procedure. Wait for the board to drop. Then turn left to reach TWA 45 degrees right. Be aware that because of our speed, rudders will feel very responsive. Be gentle with the helm. All right. Stand by tack. Board down. Okay. Tacking. Tacking. Board up. That's a decent tack, gentlemen. Well done. We'll take that. Accelerates 26 knots. Here we go. Good job, Skipper. That was your first foiling tack. It's important to be smooth and find the right rotation velocity to reduce the speed loss at a minimum. It will take practice to understand how to do this effectively in the JX50 in different wind and wave conditions. Now let's tack back to the right and settle on TWA 45 degrees left. After the turn, let's build the speed back up Stand by to tack. 26. And board down. Board down, tacking. Tacking. Board up. Right, guys, good tack. It is quite common in sailing and foiling to overshoot your course when exiting a tack or jibe in order to quickly build up speed. Well, that's what I've been doing. You keep telling me off for it. The idea is that if we are shooting for a TWA 45 degree right, we will instead exit the turn at 60 degrees, build up speed, and then head back up to our intended angle of 45. Let's try that now. Tack left and overshoot your TWA target by reaching 60 degrees TWA right. Let the speed build up to 28 knots and then get back. Stand by tech. Board down. Board down. I don't know what that glitch was. So I'm turning the wrong way. I got distracted. Ah, we dropped. Board up.
I think that's 60 degrees there, right? So we've got to get up to 28 knots. That was terrible. Well done. Hopefully you have noticed how much faster we were able to accelerate at this higher angle. Now set us up for TWA 45 degrees right. That was pretty terrible. Well done. We are now foiling much faster. Let's go one more time right to TWA 45 degrees left. Use what you have learned about overshooting to bring us quickly up to 28 knots. You have a limited amount of time, so be quick and smooth. Stand by attack. Board down. Board down, tacking. Board up. Straight A. Well done. Jibes on a foiling boat are not that different from tacks, apart from the fact that we'll be going at a higher speed and every reaction from the boat will be more violent and sudden. Let's let set up let's set up our first jibe by heading downwind to TWA 135 left. Wait for my signal to start the jibe to the right. Go past. Don't go past. It's difficult when you're foiling. All right, there we go. Using overshoot in jibe is even more important than in tax. Exiting a jibe too slow or too close to TWA 180 might force the windward hold to drop in the water. That's what happened just now. As the daggerboard raises, if that happens, keep turning right to create more angle with the wind, and the hull will rise again. The hull will rise again. Okay, jibe now. The sequence is always the same. Stand by, jibe. Board down. Board down, jibing. Board up. I need a wheel, damn it. Okay, let's make this perfect to try again to jibe left. Stand by jibe. Board down. Jibing. Jibing. Oh, that's close. Board up. I felt it was tip then. That's pretty quick. That was quick. You made it, Skipper. You know now how to tack and jibe the G JX50. You're ready to try foiling a complete course in the next tutorial. Cool. We've got to learn how to do all this manually. Everything has been done for us at the moment, which is making life a lot easier, but... Um, yeah, here we go. Foiling the windward leeward course. Tutorial 8, foiling the windward leeward. In this tutorial, you'll use the knowledge acquired in flying the boat to foil the complete windward leeward course. Auto foils, blah, 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 are all enabled. Press sail to begin. In this tutorial, you use the knowledge acquired in flying the boat to complete the windward leeward course. Board up. Head up wind to complete the line. We're up. Stand by tech. Board down. Tacking. Board up. It's too much. Cut the speed up, we're good. Let's 
stand by attack. Board down. Attacking. Board up. Concentrating so hard here, you wouldn't believe. Right, this time we've got to get it bang on. This has to be our last, last tack if we want to get this right. Stand by tack. Board down. Tacking. You failed to drop the dagger board before turning. No, I didn't. It said board down. Watch that back, guys. I swear to you, he said board down. I'm annoyed. I'm gonna be so annoyed. That was going really well. I was really enjoying that. Let's go, guys. Come on. 15 knots. We're only just up. We're not up properly. Ah, no! How frustrating. Why is it swapped with you immediately? I'm sure that's busted, right? What did I do wrong that time? Come on. These tutorials are a bit too... Um, Get her up, get her up. Again we're not up properly. I kind of feel like the auto thing is not working. It, that's what it feels like. It feels like the auto thing has stopped working. Board down. Board up. Yeah, it's it's back to front. It's weird. It's it's broken. Right, we know how to do it anyway. Let's learn how to do it manually. Maybe that'll fix all of our problems. Hydro Four Generation is a game about foiling. Until now, you have relied on the auto foils assist to fly the boat. In this tutorial, you will be charged in charge of the foils control. Auto sail, blah 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 blah. Please note, auto foils is now off. Press the sail button to begin. The JX50 is equipped with a total of four lifting foil surfaces: two in the front dagger boards. And two at the back, rudders or elevators. In this tutorial, we'll we concentrate on the front foils. You should already know by now that the JX50 is usually sailing with only one dagger board in the water. That is the most efficient configuration to sail fast. Your foils control. Your foils control controls the angle of the dagger boards in the water. Your objective when flying the boat is to use the foils control to keep the boat at the right height over the water. If you fly too low, too much foil surface will be in contact with the water, adding drag and slowing us down. Ah, the mouse wheel is the foils. Okay. If you fly too high, you will face a combination of bad effects, lack of direction, ventilation, and cav cavitation. Without enough vertical foil air in the water, the boat will start drifting laterally as the foil will be unable to balance the forces coming from the sails. This is a gradual effect and a clear warning sign that you are flying too high. Ventilation. As the foils approach the water surface, air can be sucked in and disrupt the flow that generates lift. This effect will be very abrupt. With almost no warnings and the boat will fall from its foils and crash down to the water. 
In hydrofoil generation, foils emit a whine noise that gets higher in pitch as the foil approaches the surface. Use this as an alert that you are flying too high. Shallow foil depth and a lot of lift lead to a drop in pressure. As pressure goes down, the water around the foil reaches its boiling point. This has an unpredictable and violent effect on the foil itself. In hydrofoil generation, cavitation is signalled by a shaking helm. The HUD will show you a big slider indicating the submersion of the main dagger board. That's this thing here, right? Just to the side of the big sliders, there is another smaller slider indicating the current input on the foils. We, st we will start by accelerating the boat to take off speed. Make sure your foils control is at zero. This will allow the JX50 to accelerate as fast as possible. At 17 knots, you will trim the foils to the max to get maximum lift to take off. As the holes will leave the water, the boat speed will suddenly increase with more speed foils will generate more lifts. Be ready to trim down the foils as soon as the boat lifts. Turn right to 90 degrees and accelerate to Board 19. Up. Guys, you are almost at 17 knots. That's our takeoff speed. Get ready to trim foils up to max and reduce them as soon as the hull leaves the water and boat speeds up. Maximum reactivity on that foils control. Take off and try to keep the boat on a 90 degree TWA left of flying. Way okay, that was very different. Okay, so you trim it back to go up. You go up too high, it crashes and comes back down again. Oh man, that is tricky. Okay, this is this is gonna be interesting. Crikey, I don't quite know how much to bring it back down, that's the problem. Back in the middle, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, that's that's hard. This is why we have in the in the real thing you have someone else doing this bit. Good lord. That is really hard, guys. Ah, oh, I thought I had it there for a second. That is really, really tough. Holy bananas. That is really, really difficult. Since what they should do is like show you how it's done first and then uh, have you kind of try and replicate it. Oh my god, this is really, really tough.
I don't think I can do this. Lord only knows how I'm supposed to do this. You failed. I got up to 31 knots. I was so close to doing it as well. <sighs> that is hard. I'm not going to deny that. That is hard. Yeah, that, that was my fault. I used the mouse to try and um, adjust the trim. That was a mistake. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe I could do it this time. I got up to 31, but that was some ask. Hey guys, help me out here. Ah, oh, thirty two, I got to thirty two. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how tricky this is guys honestly you have to try it for yourselves obviously thirty two and we lost uh don't know how to keep it sort of steady. is really tough. Just trying to keep it up on the foils is hard enough. Let alone trying to steer at the same time. takes off so quickly it's like really sudden Thirty two. Ah.
just turns you really hard to the left as well it kind of it, it grabs and then it just goes man it just when it goes it's really aggressive it's there's no oh I can feel it going now holy cow I don't think I could do that I didn't think it was going to be super easy, but I didn't realise it was going to be super, super difficult. Seems to be no rhyme or reason to it. There's no consistency to the to the drop or anything. There's like 25 million factors in there that I'm just not getting. Thirty-four! I got to thirty-four! And I held it up for uh, quite a bit longer than usual as well. difficult. Why did that go? I don't even understand why that one went. Four and something that time.
it just it goes so quickly it's like you've got half a second to get it exactly where it needs to be but i don't know where exactly where it needs to be is oh wow it's bloody awkward i have one more go this may be something i just need to sit on my own and just spend hour upon hour just tuning my ear into that stupid wine <laughs> The other thing you've got to realise is that sometimes it just grabs the foil and it, t it just pulls you off course and you're gone. That's so little amount of foil on that. As soon as it gets to about 30, it starts pulling really, really hard. And then everything you've done before that is wrong. So like, it just suddenly pulls to the right, 34 knots, and then I just can't hold it anymore. Thirty-five! Thirty-six! I did it! That went over thirty-six, but I wasn't on the exact ninety degree trajectory. That was the problem. You are literally flying this thing. Twitchy. I would lo I'm going to love trying to find some other people doing this. See how easy they make it look. See, it just caught. 31, pulled to the right, down it comes. It's going to be insanely hard. Thirty five. I nearly had it that time. I feel like I'm improving, but very, so very slowly. Right, we're bang on it now. We just need the speed. 35, come on! 36, yes, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it! Ah, why didn't you let me pass, man? That was so harsh. We were doing 36 knots at 90 uh, degree TWA, and it still said no. That is so harsh. Ah, oh, man, that is going to be very difficult. Right, tell me how to do the sails. The foils are damn near impossible.
During last tutorial, we had our first taste of manual foiling, but hydrofoil generation is also a sailing game, right? So in this lesson, we'll take manual trim of the sails. Please note this to... Yeah, um, apparent wind as opposed to true wind. Yeah, explanation of these concepts is outside the scope. Yep, yep. Um, also, files is now back on. There's a lot of info that we have to cover in this tutorial. The JX50 is equipped with a main wing and a jib head sail. Think about the main wing as a super efficient and powerful sail. Thanks to the hydraulic actu actuators, we can shape the wing at the press of a button. Whilst actuators control the shape of the wing, a human, the wing trimmer, is in control of setting the angle of the wing just, as, just with a simple sheet he holds in his hands. This will be a sheet, by the way, as a rope. This will be the control that requires most of our attention in this tutorial, just like the foils control in the previous tutorial. Oh my god. The wing and the sail's obvious role is to generate the forces that allow the JX50 to accelerate and move forward, but you will soon learn that the factor we will turn our attention to while manually trimming the sails is roll or heel of the boat, as the wing has a dramatic effect on this. By moving the wing closer to the centre of the boat, we increase the angle of the attack with the wind creating two forces, lift and drag. Lift is always perpendicular to the wind direction. Its forward-facing component is the thrust and it accelerates the JX50. We have seen that the lift force is emanating from our wing sails and pushes the boat a bit forward, but mostly sideways. Because the centre of this force is quite high, it will also create torque trying to roll our boat over. Our main job when trimming the sails on the GX50 is to keep the wing at an angle that generates as much forward force as possible whilst avoiding too much roll. The GX50's foils and boat shape is designed to fly almost flat with the ideal roll angle usually slightly tilted towards the wind. Trimming up means we are pulling the wing sheets, pulling the wing in our direction. As we are always trimming from the side where the wind is coming from, the wing will be pulled to the middle of the boat. Trimming down means we are releasing the wing sheet. This behaviour of the wing is ceased to depend on a series of factors such as angle with the wind and wing shape setup. In general, we could say the wing sail will try to align itself with the apparent wind. Because the reaction of the boat to trimming it up or down is a function of wind direction, we will not be able to think in terms of roll left, roll right, but we will have to build a muscle memory that is aware of the direction of the roll of the boat will be in response to our trimming manoeuvres. Trimming up will always roll us away from the wind, trimming down will roll us windward. This could feel, feel confusing at the beginning, but practice will fix and turn it into a natural thought process. Yeah, sounds easy enough to me. Anyone else confused? Good. Here it is. Here is a good trick to use to predict the direction of the roll when we trim. As we're usually sitting on the windward side of the boat. If we trim up, the, we will force the boat to roll away from the wind. This will raise the side of the boat up we are sitting, regardless of the direction of the wind. So simply trim up, my side of the boat will go up. Trim down, my side of the boat will go down. Several hard elements are essential to understanding the behaviour of the boat whilst trimming. Let's have a look at them. The sails overlay shows the current angle and shape configuration of our sails as they would look from above the boat. From above the boat. They use three colours to indicate the current angle with the wind. Yellow is OK, green is max, lift and red is a store. In manual sail trim mode, the sail trim slider turns into two separate sliders, one for each sail. This indicator shows your current trim on the sail sheets. Holy bananas. The roll indicator is one more element that hydrofoil generation borrows from flight simulators as it's shown as an intuitive representation of the current roll. Numbers on the side show the roll value in degrees, negative values indicate a roll windward. Enough talking, let's go sailing. Caught up. Alright ladies, let's get up. Up and at em. Now use the trim jib control to trim the jib up to 75%. Use the HUD trim slider to check the level of trim. Okay, it's A and D. Okay. Good job. Now, heads up. Things are going to happen very, very fast. Use your trim control to keep the main wing at max lift. Green indicator in the HUD. As soon as we'll be taking off speed, flight controller will engage the foils to lift us up. The boat will accelerate quickly and the added wing pressure on the wing will try to roll us over. Be ready to ease the wing. Keep the boat flying. Oh my god. I'm 
not picking up speed at all here, what's going on? so slowly confused oh hang on now we've got control of the of the main what 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 happened there for I was controlling the front the front sail and then all of a sudden I was controlling the middle sail but I had no idea that I was I must have missed something let's try that again oh I see W and S is controlling the main sail and A and D is controlling the uh, ah I'm with you now okay Fifty degrees. Oh, that's tricky. That is tricky. I'm not going to lie. Pretty cool though, I quite like this bit. We've got to get to 36 knots without tipping the boat. We're so close to doing it. as easy to do as you might think it is. Now we're getting some speed. Oh, touch down. Damn. It's kind of tricky. It is pretty hardcore. I've got I've got to give it to them. This is why, to be fair. Uh, you have more than one person doing this job, you know? You don't usually have... ...one person doing all of it. Because it's too bloody hard.
Here we go. Got a good head of speed now. We're accelerating. We've got good balance. Thirty-five point three. We're so close. Thirty-five point seven. Thirty-six. We've got to hold it for ten seconds. Yes! You now know the basics of manual sales of foils control. Use tutorial 11 free row manual sales to practice and apply what you have learned in these tutorials. See you out there on the water. So free row manual sales, free row manual foils, free row manual foils and sales. My gosh. We are going to struggle, aren't we? So, uh, so we've got the JX50, we've got the JX40, the mono hull, and the um, god damn, what is that called? I like the carbon edition, that's nice. I cannot think of the name of that. Please tell me in the comments. I could just completely gone out of my head. I know it begins with a C, at least I think it does. I can't get Carabao Cup out of my head, I don't know why. Right, anyway, um practice. So uh So it looks like there's no AI, so we'll only be racing online against other people. So I'll have a little practice. 30 seconds. I'll have a little practice and we'll see where we are. Oh, hang on, this is a different boat. That's not what I meant to do. Back. Let's change our boat. Go, I like that. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to end this video and I'm going to just go in for a race. I just want to, I just want to get my ass kicked. I don't care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.